what's up everybody so i've done a little bit of scouting here and there and i'm coming trying to find new areas to hunt over here where i live in this wood area is literally like like eight miles long and maybe a mile or mile and a half wide so you don't have a lot of area to hunt and rifle season and gun season coming up there's gonna be hunters everywhere so i'm trying to find some stuff and get some camera footage i haven't had any luck lately i've seen some deer but i haven't had any luck on the cameras so i'm out here now and uh, we shot the crossbow my buddy's crossbow from work earlier and had a blast doing that this is my road this is shooting your friends arrows yeah, there we go that's my here's area. here's the gayest man on the planet now. I can read that now. he hits I'm this what do you say all right, we're shooting Danny's long bow. How's it doing? Shooting this crossbow today, about 25 yards out. See how this thing, I've never even shot like a bow at the end. See how we got it? It's the bottom of the target. You can raise it so as it gets on the Got it. Let's go look and see what we got it at. Where I was aiming, I was aiming below the heart, thinking of it because we're only at 25 yards, but. But look how it's easy right where I come out of this. Wow, Noise. That makes it so much easier. God dang. Oh, you can yeah. pull it like that and then you get it locked. You gotta pull it up, yeah. Oh, you're left handed. Yes, sir. Okay, see so now your safety is on that side too. It's on both sides. Okay. You see the red is ready to fire. I got you. Look at your top dot. Right there makes hunting easy with a bow now. Yeah, I'm right. Now, not just anybody can do that, right? No, you have to have not like here in Florida. You gotta have a disabled. Well, you permit. can't hunt with it. You can recreational shoot it. Wait, you gotta have a disabled permit to hunt with it. You shoot crossbow here. In the state of Florida, you do. How do you get a disabled permit? You go online. You go to the bottom of the target. It's, it's going to be your top, your very top uh, top. Right where your aiming is where it's going to put it, man. Woo! There we go, second shot. That's how you do it. Bam! That is how you do it. Nice, Danny. I got He had arthritis in his shoulder, so he gets to shoot a crossbow now while he's hunting. So, <laughs> wish I could do that. I might get a bow next year and try to do some archery hunting. But I'm out here now, it's in July, and I'm just looking around, walking through, trying to find some stuff. And I mean, this is Florida, typical Panhandle Florida stuff for you. Got a lot of stuff like this. So once I get into a bedding area or see some sign, I will tune back into you guys. And let's see if we can find something. So a little more information. Uh, so I'll, I'll kind of work in this area too, so I can go straight here right after work. Uh, leave a change of clothes on my truck so I can hit the woods with them. Spraying with tick spray because it's Florida in July. So I think we're pretty good, but it's like 90 something degrees today, hot. Make sure you bring some water and stuff with you guys when you get out here in these trips, but it's almost six o'clock and Looking to see if we can see some sign. Old tree stand looks like it's made out of pallets right here. So that's pretty cool. And it's right on the edge of this thick stuff. And they're probably bedding in this thick stuff right now. Hoping to maybe spook or bump one today. Yeah, cool tree stand. Probably a good spot. Like, here's his view. This little channel right here between the thick stuff. And that thick stuff might be a good pressure point for them to move through. So I'm gonna look through sign real good right in here. Looks like a doe or fawn print right there. It's pretty lightweight. So I'm gonna follow it backwards. See what we can find. And that's not a game path, that's actually a bike trail. I think a lot of wilderness bikers ride through here. But it serves really good as a game trail. They'll you'll walk these and you'll actually see some good some good tracks so 
I'm focusing on this side of this road today, so we're gonna go back in down this trail, see if we can see some sign and go back in. Let's see what we got. A lot of sign right through here. That thick stuff. I'm a little bit in the thick stuff now, walking in through here. It's all like mud and soggy. And you can hear the water squishing through the grass when you step on it. I'm going as far as I can. Hopefully we'll get on any snakes. Make a good bed there. I almost walked right into that guy. Would have had nightmares for a week. Oh, another spider web. I'm like in that corner. Like I would keep almost walking in the spider web. That's why a lot of times I'll walk with my hand out front a little bit while I'm looking around. So you hit it with your hand instead of your face. Man, I was. I'm glad I walked like that through the woods while I'm looking around because I almost, <laughs> almost hit that spider and got nightmares for a week. They, they won't hurt you though; they're just banana spiders. But still, creepiest looking things ever. <sighs> okay, it's round two. After walking that whole line, I didn't see much sign on that north side. And it could be because a lot of our winds are south, coming from the south lately. But uh, I noticed that there's a swamp and it makes like a big U. So I went back to my truck, pulled over here on top of that U, and realized there's this road. This road goes right down the middle, straight to the spot I was looking at on the north side from that bike trail. So I'm going to walk it. It looks, there's tire tracks. Even though this road's closed to vehicles, so it's either a government vehicle or a, an outlaw coming down in here. But we're gonna go down here and see. Here we go, looks a little better. We'll follow these for a little bit. Here we go. Now I'm getting some hog tracks. Tell their hog, you can see how rounded they are. They're not like narrow. So we're getting hog tracks on this side now. Hmm. All right, back at the truck. We probably got about 15 minutes of daylight left. Um, south end, I think I am gonna have to make that loop and go in and do a just to see. I'm thinking it might change to the north side, so I'm gonna leave. I put my camera up in this little knot that that U makes in the swamp and you can see for a while so I think if I back that off that spot with my rifle in season I'll get one but I put my camera there close to see if I can get anything on camera there wasn't a lot of activity on the north side of that swamp but on the south end there was a ton bedding and everything I should put my camera there but I got a feeling winter time we get a lot of north winds. So I got a feeling they're gonna swap sides. So that's why I came back around. Uh, this video was probably very, very boring. I apologize, but figured I'd start throwing some scouting videos and other stuff in there for me getting ready for hunt season. But I did find something really cool, guys. I found this little skull. Looks like maybe a fawn. Can't, the coyote probably got it. But I thought that was a pretty cool find. I found that skull uh, going into the original spot. I didn't even have my phone out to film yet, but found that out in the woods. It was a pretty good little find. Seen a lot of deer tracks on the way back in. I seen some deer tracks right out here. There's that road that leads back into there. But uh, you can see out the clearing, there's a lot of skinny trees. I don't know, I found like three or four big trees in, to put my tree stand in. But uh, I think if I come out here bow hunting, I might have to hunt it from the ground. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, maybe stick to the roads and put up a put up a tent, pop up tent, blind, and see what I can get. But if you guys got any tricks and tips for me over here in swampy Florida, let me know. Right now, as you can see, I got a lot of black marks all over me. Pretty much turned my pants black. So I think those deer I think they're just hunkered down in that swamp 
and they don't have to move because it's so hot outside. They don't need to move. Maybe the fawns are getting out playing, but that's about it. So seeing a, a bed outside that swamp was kind of exciting, but I think they're just hunkered down in there. I tried to get in there to see. I seen a couple spots where they could be laying, but I couldn't. It was so thick, you couldn't even film it. It was, <laughs> I could see it through the, the glass, the magnifying glasses, but that's about it. And, but, I'm learning, you guys are learning now. A little background story since this is the end of the video is I grew up here, um, never hunted this area. I've always hunted Eglin Air Force Base and uh, I dog hunted. So I use a lot, we used beagles to hunt the deer. And this is all, all pretty much new to me doing this. Again, out here scouting. I've walked plenty of woods with dogs. I know what to look for and where to find them. So that came easy to me, but now I gotta worry about when, I gotta worry about all sorts of stuff. Um, so that's gonna take a getting used to, but I think we'll get one this season, I'm hoping we do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. Until next time, get, get, out, just get out in the outdoors, have some fun, drink a lot of water. <laughs>